Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 30 big money bolos. And when I say big money, these items all sold for over $100. Big money. And I am doing a featured seller video on drumroll, Dad Planet. Okay, so 30 items that sold for over a hundred dollars. So these are big money bolos, you guys. Definitely things that you need to be on the lookout for. Uh, some of these things I probably wouldn't have picked up. So I definitely learned from this video. So I am going to start by showing you his channel here. And here it is. It is Dad Planet, and he is up to 1.2K subscribers. So I had him on the Bolo show not long ago, and I think right around that time he hit a thousand. So he is definitely gaining some subscribers. So you guys definitely go and subscribe to him. Let's get him to 1500. Okay. So he does do some Bolo videos and he tells you things to look for, but his what sold videos are Bolo videos because he is a Bolo finder. So definitely go and subscribe to his channel and put in the comments of his video that Bolo Buddies sent you. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through so you guys can kind of see some of his videos. All right. Are you ready to see some Bolos, some items that we all need to be on the lookout for, items that we can buy low and sell high? All right. Let's get started. All right. The first item is this KitchenAid um, mixer. It is a cobalt blue uh, tilt head stand mixer. I don't know. It's like some sort of fancy mixer, but he got this at the Goodwill. Now he did pay up for this. He paid $99.99 for this, but he sold it for $299.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So this is a time when you look up comps and you know that you have a bolo and you're willing to pay up for it. So I'm too cheap and probably wouldn't have wanted to ship that. So I probably wouldn't have bought this. So tell me in the comments, would you have bought the mixer? Let me know in the comments. All right, the next item I definitely would have bought. I love buying inflatables, uh, especially the brand Jemmy, G-E-M-M-Y. You guys have heard me talk about these before. They are definitely a bolo. This one he sold for $299.99. I told you guys, this video is going to be good. He's got some big money bolos. And he only paid $19.99 for it, and he got it at the Goodwill. And it was in the original box. The box was pretty beat up, but that is no big deal. And I also take mine out, and I blow them up. I What you do is you plug them in, and they have a fan and that fan creates the air that keeps the thing um, blown up. So you do have to uh, keep it plugged in for it to work. But uh, they are definitely a bolo. I've sold Christmas ones. I've sold Halloween. So definitely be on the lookout. I do have a video on inflatables also to look for. Okay, so this is a Bose sound dock. It's a Bluetooth speaker. And he got this at the Goodwill for $14.99. And it sold for $249.99. And the buyer paid shipping on that. So um, I know that Bose is a good system. I might have looked at that one, but I probably wouldn't have bought it. I just probably wouldn't have. Um, this Burberry coat. Uh, this one, let's see. He got it free from his mom. And he sold it for $249.99. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Casio electronic keyboard piano. And I'm going to show you some pictures here. So it's just a, a keyboard piano. And I know these sell. Um, he got this at the Goodwill for $14.99. And it sold for $199.99. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this vintage lighted waterfall picture with sound. So how cool is that? It even has sound. Uh, he got this at the Goodwill for $19.99 and it sold for $199.99. And again, I probably would have walked 
right past this. How about you guys? Would you have bought it? I probably wouldn't have bought it because I didn't want to ship it, but it is cool. Look how it lights up. The next item is another item that I probably would have parted out. Um, I would have probably sold the furniture separately and the house. I don't know what I would have done with the house. I wouldn't have wanted to ship it. Maybe it's not too bad. I don't know. Uh, let's see. He got this at the Goodwill for $14.99 and he sold it for $199.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I may have listed that one actually. I have I have shipped some dollhouses. I just don't enjoy packaging them. All right, the next item is this Pottery Barn Glendale Pulley Lamp Antique Nickel. Again, another item I would not want to ship you guys let me know how you feel about shipping items like this. I know that, I mean, the majority of his items are items like, I'm like, nope, wouldn't have bought it. Nope, wouldn't have bought it because I don't want to ship it. How much money am I passing up on because I don't want to ship items? Probably a lot. Um, and store them. You have to store them also. Okay, so this came from the Goodwill. He paid $6.99 and he sold it for $199.99. That's amazing. The next item is this Crown Audio uh, two-channel pro amplifier. Um, yeah, I don't want to tell you guys this, but I wouldn't have bought this either because I didn't. I wouldn't want to test it. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. So this one uh, he got on Marketplace in a bulk buyout. So he had about five dollars in it, and it sold for one hundred and seventy-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, and the buyer paid shipping. You know what I'm going to say. Anyway, he sold this Hoover. It is a ultra wind tunnel filtration vacuum cleaner. Oh my goodness. Um, he got this off Facebook marketplace for $30 and he sold it for $149.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item, you know what I'm going to say, is a Sears Kenmore convertible sewing machine. I think I'm going to title this video. You know what I'm going to say. And this is tested and working and it's a sewing machine and he put, she works. So I guess it's a female and he sold this for $149 and 99 cents. He paid $4 and 99 cents at the Goodwill. That seems really cheap for the Goodwill. Wow. The next item, you know what I'm going to say. Um, so this is a croquet set and I actually found this one to be really interesting because I think I see these a lot. Um, I shouldn't say a lot, but I have seen these at garage sales. Um, yeah, I think I used to play this at my grandma's house, but anyhow, he got this at the Goodwill for $19.99 and he sold it for $149.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. Are you ready for this? He sold another one, different style slightly. Um, this one he got at the Goodwill for $19.99 and he took a best offer of $124.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So that would be hard to ship, heavy, awkward. He needs to do a video on how he shipped this because I'm not, I wouldn't know how to ship that. I'd feel like the balls would be heavy and they'd be like, laying on top of the poles and I'd be afraid they'd break in transit. So yeah, I'd definitely like to see a video on that. If you're watching Dad Planet, can you please do a video on how you ship these things? The next item that sold is this Department 56 Village Animated Sledding Hill Christmas Decor, complete and working. How cool is that? Um, I, I would have picked this up. I would have bought this one. Um, he got it at the Goodwill for $4.99 and he took a best offer of $125 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Thomas Museum Series limited edition AM FM cassette radio. And this one he got at the Goodwill also for $9.99 and he took a best offer of $125. And and the next item is this Lego 8813 Battle at the Pass Castle Knight's Kingdom. And it looks like he assembled it, which can take some time. But his YouTube channel name is Dad Planet. So maybe he had some help with that. 
Um, but he got this for $30 on Facebook Marketplace and it sold for $149.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this antique Wagner cast iron skillet frying pan. And you can see here that he has taken pictures of any issues that it has. He showed a picture of the bottom, so this is what you're looking for. And this one came from the Goodwill. He paid $6.99 for it, took a best offer of $125, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this LGB, the Big Train Great Northern Caboose. And it looks like it's new old stock. And this came from Volunteers of America Thrift. He bought it for $9.99 and he sold it for $149.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 90s, the North Face Gore-Tex Mountain Light Jacket Orange Mango. So those are just colors that, key colors that people could be searching. It's a men's size XXL. And this one came from Facebook Marketplace. He paid $10 for it and sold it for $149.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I love this one. This I definitely would have picked up. So it's a Love Pain and Stitches Glitter Orange Pumpkin Purse. Kind of different, right? Um, it says Pumpkin Cult Bag. So I don't know. I've never seen anything like it, but it is definitely a bolo. He got this from lovepainandstitches.com. He paid $81 for it and sold it for $149.99. So this was a retail arbitrage pickup. Um, I don't know if he bought it and then decided he didn't want it um, or if he bought it with the intent of reselling it for a profit. So that would be a question I would have to ask him. Maybe he can put it in the comments if he watches the video. He can let us know about that purse. The next item is this Granny Afghan Goodwill. Sold it, or I'm sorry, paid $19.99 for it. And yeah, how cool is that? And he sold it for $129.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rare vintage Madeline Old House in Paris dollhouse um, by Eden with accessories. Okay, here you go. I probably would have picked this up. I do love selling dollhouses, and this one doesn't seem to be super, super big. Um, Facebook Marketplace, free with something else he purchased from the buyer, and he sold it for $99.99. And I know I told you guys that everything sold for over a hundred and with shipping this sold for over a hundred. I think there's only two, um, everything else, literally the sold price was over a hundred. All right. This one is a Nintendo Wii bundle. So this one came off Facebook marketplace, huge gaming bulk buy. So he had about $15 in this and he sold it for $119 and 99 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So these are Birkenstock. London Clog Hunter Brown Men's Size 42, which is a US 9, 9.5. He got these from an estate sale. He paid $5 for them, you guys, and they sold for $124.99. I don't know what kind of an estate sale he's going to that had these for five bucks, but I need to find out. All right. The next item is because the estate sales that I go to, they don't, they would not have had these for five dollars. Okay, this is a Margaritaville Bahamas Frozen Concoction Maker. Yeah, I think I said that right. Uh, Goodwill paid $14.99 for this, and it sold for $109.99, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Uh, It's a bread maker. That's what it is. Uh, definitely look them up if you see them. Uh, this, you can see it actually has bread in it. So it looks like he tested it and actually <laughs> made some bread. How funny is that? Oh my goodness. Look, he made bread. That is cool. Now the question is, did he eat the bread and was the bread good? That's what I want to know. Uh, we'll look for his comments in the description to see if he watched the video. 
All right, he got this on Facebook Marketplace for $30 and it sold for $109.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Sony Info Lithium AC whatever, uh, four position battery charger. And this came from the Goodwill. He paid $9.99 for this and it sold for $119.99. The next item is this Bachman Big Hauler Large Scale Chattanooga Locomotive. And it's like a train thing. Uh, it was from the Goodwill, so, uh, paid $14.99 and it sold for $109.99 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Topstone rubber latex skull mask with full fur hood from the 1970s. And you can see here, it's got the fur and you can see it's very old. Uh, came from a church sale. He paid $3 for it and it sold for $119.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Oakland Raiders snapback hat. It is vintage and he sold this for a best offer of $95. But if you add on the shipping, ooh, the shipping was $3.99. $95. Ooh, okay. Shipping and tax got us over $100. So really close to a $100 sale on this one. I wanted to include it but it kind of makes me look like a liar because um, it didn't quite hit the hundred. Well, I bet with tax it did. But when I gave it to him, I saw the sold for price here and I didn't know he took a best offer. So that's why I picked it. But it still sold for $95. I mean, it's a Raiders hat. It's not even like a trucker snapback, you know, patch, really cool patch. It's just a Raiders hat. I would have I wouldn't have picked, I would have had no idea this was worth $95. So I'm definitely glad I included it in the video, even if it made me look like a liar. Uh, so that one came from the Goodwill. He paid $1.99 for it and sold for $95 plus shipping and tax to make it over $100. All right. Okay, you guys, here is um, Dad Planet is actually Dad Planet on eBay. I will link his store down in the description. And again, this is his YouTube channel. Uh, sell these toys for over $200 on eBay. So that's his most recent video. So you can definitely go and check that out. And in the video comments, again, put um, Bolo Buddy sent you. So give me a shout out in the comments. Let him know that you came from Bolo Buddies. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. You guys are great. I appreciate you guys. Um, let me know what you think about that video, because I got to say, there's a lot of stuff that I would not have bought, and he made a ton of money on that stuff. So are those items you would have picked up, or are those items that, like me, you would have walked past because you didn't want to ship them? So again, thanks for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up. Definitely check out one of those, and definitely subscribe to Dad Planet. Thanks for watching.